the sport of boxing, male dominated. Men don't want to see women get bloody in a ring. It is a fight between two men and a uh, woman shouldn't be fighting. We're not as excited about seeing a woman knock another woman out as we're to see a man knock another man out. You have men's sport and you have women's sport. And boxing is definitely a man's sport. It's inhumane, it's sick, it's violent, um, and it's, it's incredibly dysfunctional. And I'm in it. <laughs> Women's boxing for years has sort of been looked at, looked at as a novelty. That has changed. And Mia was one of the pioneers of that change. She was one of the big names that was in early that made people pay attention. It takes a certain flavor to be the champion of the world. She's got that flavor. I felt like I was making a statement. And that's why it was so important for me to be the cover. Being able to be in Playboy and be a fighter at the same time, that's uh, remarkable. Being in Playboy was, I think, a great experience for her. And uh, her purses doubled her. Just her fame was just so huge. She don't seem like a boxer. She don't look like a boxer. I was in awe of me, honestly. And then I found out about her. I'm very scared and worried when I see my mom, um, when, when I see her losing in the ring. Boxers are at the receiving end of, of thousands of blows to their head over a career. And we know that is a risk factor for the development of a chronic brain condition called chronic traumatic encephalopathy. I didn't have this need to go out there and talk about it until my son got sick. She felt so anxious and so devastated about her son developing schizophrenia. Other countries put in a large amount of their budgets to be able to deal with these issues and we hide from it. My biggest fear is that I will outlive my, my son. <laughs> we need a civil rights movement so that people with mental illnesses get equal treatment like with any other illness. We can and we must change the culture.